Hello everyone, it is me again. I'm Vio here. I'm going to be uh, restarting the uh, Sonic Adventure 2 series because I went from City Escape to Final Rush and I didn't know that there wasn't actually. Oof. Oof. And this is what happens when I click outside of the, uh, window. Shouldn't be able to, I'm using a controller. But basically, I'm going to be restarting the entire series because I ran out of space. Like, I recorded the entirety of the hero story in one go. I ran out of space on my recording drive, Windows told me nothing, and let's just say it wasn't too good. Let's... Stereo. Hopefully it actually is stereo. Okay, from what I'm seeing in the waveform it is. So let's head back to the hero mode. I would allow you to see everything again because when we miss the cutscenes. Sigma Alpha 2 heading due south over the city. We're en route. Everything's a go. This is Control Tower. We have you on radar. Report cargo status of captured Hedgehog board. Over. That's a 10-4. Cargo secured on board and... What? Net copy that. Over. Gone. He's taken out everyone aboard and... What's wrong? What is Come here. Over. Prepare for me singing, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for singing. I'll be better at this because I play it again. So, woo! Attention all units. Suspect oh, yeah. Block all major roads and capture the suspect. Rolling around at the speed of sound. Got places to go, gotta follow my rainbow. Can't stick around, have to keep moving now. With what life ain't only one way to find out. Let's keep on living here No time for guessing, follow my plan instead Trusting in what you can see Take my lead, I'll set you free Follow me, set me free Trust me and we will escape from the city I'll make you go Follow, follow me Set me free Trust me and we will escape from the city I'll make it through, prove it to you Follow me Oh yeah Danger is looking around every time Trust your feelings, got to live and learn I know it's some luck that I'll make it through Got no other option, only one thing to do. I don't care what luck I had. Gotta get my hand instead. Find out new stairs, no matter what that may be. Take my lead, I'll set you free. Follow me, set me free. Trust me, and you will escape from the city. I'll make it through. Follow, follow me. Set me free. Trust me, and we will escape from the city. I'll make it through. Let's tell ya. It's on loop now. I am sorry. I like, I love this song. Like, in, in regards to a non Sonic song, this is my favorite song, even if it doesn't involve Sonic. If it doesn't involve Sonic anyway, it is still my, my favorite song. Like, it's so good. If I remember correctly, it was sang by Ted Foley. 
and someone else. You know, Ted Bowery, the same guy who's saying race to win for Sonic Rivals 1. Oh, one? Yeah, 1. Ugh. One, if it played it with a keyboard and mouse, okay, keyboard, if it's a mouse like this, then I would actually be getting this a lot better because, well, I'm not used to controllers. Gotta go fast. Gotta go oh so fast. Oh, dang it, go faster. Dang it, the hint, oh, oh god. Hopefully I get an, an actual A rank for once. And this was the first Sonic game to ever introduce ranks, so... Why? Why? I... Did I not go through it fast enough? I can't... I physically can't do the A rank missions on the controller. I physically can't do it on the controller because of how the controller works. This game of tag is boring. I'm out of here. Hmm. Finally decided to show up, eh? Okay, bring it on. Your mouth isn't even moving, man. Your mouth isn't even moving. If any case, you would have been going uh through the entire thing you're talking about. Also, this is like the easiest fight in the game, next to like the shadow battle in the green forest. Or white jungle. You just jump and you attack. It's not that hard. Like, boop, at your apex of the jump, and you attack. It's not hard. I mean, the camera screws you over, but. Oh, that was. Oof, collision. He will eventually land because he doesn't have health, but not waiting for that. I never got that to happen. I never got the dialogue to overlap. That was funny. What? It all starts with this. A jewel containing the ultimate power. That's the Chaos Emerald! Now I know what's going on. The military has mistaken me for the likes of you. So, where do you think you're going with that emerald? Say something, you fake hedgehog! Chaos Control! Them polygons from 2002. Just let it go. You just don't know when to give up, do you? What are you talking about? That emerald's mine. You got that? The master emerald contains special powers that neutralize the energy of the chaos emerald. That makes it very powerful. What the? What? Look who's calling who a thief. I came here following the signal from the Emerald. If I'm not mistaken, this is the Master Emerald. This is you. Dr. A. You've stolen it five times already. I'll just take it with me. Farewell, knucklehead. Not if I can help it. Ah! 
What was that all about? And look what you did to my emerald! I did that to prevent the Master Emerald from being stolen, the idiot. If it's in pieces, I can restore it. And by the way, that's not your Emerald. Doesn't matter. I'll look into it once I get back to the base. I despise anyone who takes jewels from me. All the world's gems are mine to keep. Yeah, we'll see about that, Batgirl. Time for the most annoying part of the game. See, I'm not sure if it made it into the episode that I literally just did it from YouTube now because it wasn't complete. But for those of you who watched my Sonic Adventure, not Sonic Adventure 2, the original one, Sonic Adventure 1, those of you who watched that, you will know that there is treasure hunting levels. Treasure hunting levels are levels where you go around as one of the treasure hunters. In the last game, it was only Knuckles. Now we have Knuckles and Rouge. Well, see, in the in the first game, treasure hunting was easy because the, the levels were not as confusing, although that's not really a problem here, but you also were able to find multiple Master Emerald shards because you were finding literally the same thing that in the world. You were able to find multiple Master Emerald shards at once. So that's what made those levels kind of long, but fair. Well now, these can be friggin' stupid. Because now you're only allowed to find one Master Emerald piece at a time, so they've handicapped the radar, and then they made the levels much more confusing, especially with Rouge's part of the story, where it has multiple areas sometimes, and they make it extremely crucial. Like, they hide power-ups in this bitch. I'm, I'm not even joking, they hide power-ups. Like, with Sonic and Shadow Story, you literally just, uh, find power-ups as a way to progress in the stage. But the power-ups for Knuckles and also... Wait, well, Okay, I think it's specifically for Knuckles. One of the power-ups for Knuckles is it's optional, but you're going to want it. You're going to want it for the final stage. Think about how stupid it is. So, in the final stage of Sonic Hunter 2, um, or just before the Bio Lizard is fought, You go through a treasure hunting stage with Knuckles for God knows what reason. It's closer. And then the super strong wind. Riding the wind is the easiest way. Oh god. Shut up, Omo Chow. I'm trying to exposition. Super strong wind. Riding a wind is the easiest way. It's right there. But anyway, in the final stage of the game. It's all underwater, and like in every Sonic game, you drown underwater, well, obviously. And like in most Sonic games with drowning, you have to find air bubbles to survive. Not that, not that tough. But the stage lasts for a while, I'll finish that after. It's a secret military base that is reinforced and super strong. It's called Prison Island. I heard the news about it on satellite TV. I still can't believe that Sonic would destroy the military building or rob the bank. Wait for me, okay, Sonic? I'm on my way. What? Hey, look, it's Amy. And Eight Man, too. What's Amy doing here? Doesn't matter. I have to help Amy because she's in danger. 
Tornado transformation! But like, the, the treasure hunting stage for the final level is long. Of course it's gonna be the last stage. Sorry if that's kind of a bit jarring for me to just continue that. But... It's a long stage, obviously. Final stage in the game. Final treasure hunting stage. I think it's well, not really. I think it's for losers. Um, it's full of water. It, literally every single inch of it is full of water. So you have to periodically find air bubbles, or you could just get the power up that is optional in the second stage or third stage of Knuckles' story. Part of the game. This time I'll let you go, but the next time we meet, you won't be so lucky. It's optional, but it makes you breathe underwater. Wow, Tails, you did it! But what are you doing here on this island? I'm the one who should be asking that question. Don't you know it's dangerous here? I know, but I'm here to save my hero, Sonic. Again? Hurry! I know Eggman's up to no good again. Okay. Yeah, this game can be a bit annoying, but I think it's not because it's bad, it's because it's a certain okay. style. It's not bad, it's just that it was probably conflicting designs or something along the lines. But it's still better than SA1 because there's more variety in basically everything now. I mean, people are going to say that SA1 all already bad because it spread itself too thin. It had two different play styles. Technically three, but not really. I'm just saying right now, I don't think tail stages in SA1 counted because, well, they were tail stages. And it's literally Sonic stage if they to fly. that this game is awful because there's so much in space time. They might be right, they might be wrong. It doesn't mean the game is objectively bad. It just means that that specific person thinks the game is bad because they like the more focus instead of the more action-oriented, multi-playstyle-oriented uh, multi gameplay. But I, I kind of like SA2 a bit better in some regard. Like for instance, SA1's graphics, yes, they're really bad, but they've aged well because of cartoony. The big uh, light, um, likewise here, the graphics here. They look good. Don't, don't, I'm not going to knock on the graphics, okay. but it just hasn't aged well because it went for a more realistic kind of style. And realism in video games always ages badly compared to cartoony style. That's actually the reason why even the likes of Sonic 1 still look good to this day. Sonic freaking one. Because it didn't try to go for realism. It didn't try to make Sonic look like an actual hedgehog. And that's the reason why a lot of these CG looking Sonic games they don't really look too too good, but those kind of Sonic games from like two thousand like six like what was it, like 2012 to 2016? Quite recent Sonic games, so... They still look good to this day, but they are more dated than Sonic game that never had a more CG 
more artsy, well, not artsy, more realistic, more realistic style of graphics. The artsy artsy Sonic had so much life in them. Like, if you look at any artsy Sonic game in 2018, it still looks better than most Sonic games from, well, fucking 2002. So, the game isn't bad, and yet I am doing a review during my playthrough because... What am I gonna do? But, the gameplay isn't bad. A lot of people are going to say that graphics and everything is not. It's not. Look at Mass Effect Andromeda. See how much of a buggy chain wreck it is, even though it looks better in this game. Oof. See, I'm forgetting you to die right there. He's the one that opens that other gate. I think the only gate we have the cannon now. So, nothing lost. Very good. I'm doing better than I did when I first did this. Because when I first did this, I haven't played this game in like 10 years. <laughs> and now I'm getting B and C instead of just straight off E's. Huh? Amy? Keep your voice down. Have no fear. Amy Rose is here. How'd you get here? Well, if you gotta know, I caught a ride with Tails. Are you sure you don't need my help? It looks like you could use it. The reason I'm in here is because of that fake hedgehog. You mean that black hedgehog? Did you see it? Where is it now? If I tell you, will you marry me? No way! I thought I had you this time. That black hedgehog came here with Dr. Eggman. So, Eggman's behind this, huh? What's all that writing on the wall anyway? Did you write that? Wait for me, Sonic! He's such a brat. Look who's talking. Also, I'm gonna spoil it right now because... C come on, if you have never played this game, you probably were born in like... Actually, this year. Or, okay, you're probably born in like... Sometime... Like... 2016 or something along those lines. Because... I'm pretty sure... Most of my audience knows the entire story by heart of FAQ. It's impossible to not know it. When it came out in 2002, it was the talk of the universe, basically. Well, actually, it came out in 2000. 2002 was the HD remaster. Which is obviously what I'm playing right now. Because the HD remaster was PC only. You hate to the let me just
Okay, I'm back to where I was. You know that. <laughs> But as I was saying, if you don't know what this game is or the story, you're probably or it's too young to know what a video game console is. But um spoiling it right now just in case you somehow haven't heard of this, majority you probably have. Um <clears throat> This the the cell that Sonic was in was Dr. Gerald Robotnik's cell, which is actually Eggman's grandfather. We'll see that later on in the game. We're on last story, I think. Sometime around last story, I'm not quite sure when. Missile launch in 15 seconds. Oops. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, fire. I think that wasn't the highest. I'm not sure where to go to go to that. I don't know how to get up to the highest one to give you the highest score. I do not know where to get that one, so. Whee! You know, I prefer Shadow's stuff because Shadow had much more free flow. I mean, Sonic is basically just Shadow in this game, at, well, in this game. Don't expect to see, like, Sonic using the Chaos Control as a game mechanic in, like, next game. Well, okay. Huh. Mm. No problem. I will be going through what seems to be the adventure series classified as, at least. Like, for instance, Heroes. That is classified as the adventure series. Not quite sure why it just is. Whew. So far, so good. Hey, that's that blue hedgehog again of all places. I found you, Faker. Faker? I think you're the fake hedgehog around here. You're comparing yourself to me? Huh? You're not even good enough to be I'll my. I'll make you eat those words. There's no time to play games. You won't even get the chance. I'm the coolest. He said that as he gets hit. I'm the coolest. Oh, I see. So you're not just a hedgehog. Oops. Not bad for an imposter. Do you know who I am? You know the AI is really stupid. In the original and the HD remake. If you go behind one of the uh, logs, they just can't get you. There's an invisible wall for them behind one of the logs. Uh... Shadow, what are you doing? Hurry and get back here right now before the island blows up with you on it. Blows up? Yeah, I don't like. I don't like the music for Sonic's version of Green Forest because. It's the same environment. It's the exact same level, not exact same, but it's the same environment. So, but it's just that Sonic is called Green Forest. 